have been really into two games recently. The Plants vs. Zombies and Balloon Star Defense 6. I just love the amount of freedom you have in both these games. You can be extremely meticulous, or you could just win an entire game using one tower. That's what inspired me to make this series. That is, can you beat Plants vs. Zombies using only one type of plant on each level? That's what I plan on answering. Now there has to be a couple of rules to be set, because with some of these plants, it would literally be impossible. These rules are only one tower can deal damage, imitator is viable, walnuts are allowed, and obviously sunflowers are allowed. Right now, I don't really see how the series is gonna go, but you guys voted, so why not? What better way to start this series than with one of my favorite plants? That is the potato mine. This was a whole lot harder than I thought it would be. This is because of two reasons. One, how long it takes for potato mines to recharge. And two, the speed at which zombies walk at. While I already knew the recharge time of the mines would make this difficult to pull off, I didn't know it would make it as hard as it was. If you don't place a potato mine instantly after it generates, you're done for, kiddo. Even while using the imitator, there was little to no room for using the potato mine. The second problem, however, made this exponentially more difficult. In playing through the game, every zombie seems like it's moving at the same speed. This is almost true. Each zombie moves at a speed that ever so slightly varies between them. This wouldn't matter unless you're using something like a potato mine that can only blow up multiple zombies if they're at the exact same position. This nearly doubles how many mines you need, which is already a headache because of the recharge time. But I did it. It only took five tries to get past the first level of the game with the potato mine. I think I might have to do that. Holy freak. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Is it doable? Yes. Would I recommend it? Not in a million years. 